Many churches we work with are looking for that look of a cinema camera with the control of a broadcast camera. That's been really hard to do so far. Many manufacturers have tried and tried and they're getting closer and Canon may finally have us there. Let's check out the new C400. We're with our friend Matthew from Canon looking at the new C400. And this thing's pretty cool. It's pretty exciting. We're pretty excited about it. It's 6K full frame. Okay. It's an RF mount native, yeah. uh, and this sucker has triple base ISOs. So it's really good in low light. If you're in our Canon logs, you can do base 800, base 3200, base 12,800. Okay. And uh, you'll reset your dynamic range at each of those bases to get everything out of the sensor you need. So who even needs lighting anymore? Right? No, you still need lighting, of course. <laughs> Where's the drama in that? So talk to us, like, what's the basis behind it? Because obviously you guys have been uh, on the forefront of doing kind of cinema in a live environment. Right. What, what, like, how does this make this better? Well, that's exactly it. I mean, what's great about this camera is it has one foot in both worlds firmly. It's a cinema camera. You can run and gun, you can take it out in the field and you can get the most cinematic mm -hmm. images, or you can put it in a broadcast environment like we're showing here at this booth, uh, together with our PTZ cameras, together with our other cinema cameras. It has a lot of great things built into it that are broadcast friendly that you used to have okay. to go to expansion units yeah, yeah. to put on our other cameras. Okay. We even have a DIN connector here that has your return video, your Genlock, and your sync, that okay. you can choose which of those functions in the menu uh, that you want that to perform. We have our Ethernet uh, built right in, so we're sending out IP control right now to okay. our Canon RC IP1000 controller. Yeah. We got SDI out to a switcher. Okay. Uh, so we're ready to go right out of the box. This is broadcast ready and cinema ready both. That's very, very cool. Even got built-in Wi-Fi. Built-in Wi-Fi. And what? it'll make you coffee in the morning. Why would I want built-in Wi-Fi in my camera? So we got built-in Wi-Fi. We got a, a multi-camera control application okay. that's on the I iPhone or pa iPad. Okay. And uh, you can actually now, with the Wi-Fi, just you can control record, you can zoom, you can focus, you can do all of these things, change your gamma curve, all of these things on uh, with multiple cameras. Okay. Any of our cinema cameras can tie into this app and you can do multiple cameras on the same app. But wait, there's more. But wait. <laughs> You get the set of Ginsu knives. But, uh, and what's great about this too, that's very broadcast friendly, is it has a feature now called auto clear scan. Okay. So, uh, you know, you, you shoot against LED walls, you, you want to eliminate yeah. any flicker that you get, yeah. or uh, scan lines not syncing up. Right. So now you can point the camera at an LED wall, it'll detect the cadence, and it will sync the camera up with your LED wall. Or even if you're shooting in an old office with fluorescents that are flickering, right, it can detect right, right. that cadence. Right. right. Yeah, the LED wall, I mean, with, with churches we work with, LED wall is a huge thing. I mean, huge. More and more. That is the upstage back wall. Absolutely. Right? Uh, or it's in the shot anyway. So yeah. uh, getting rid of that is, is massive. Yeah. Even here on this set, we had uh, LED, this LED glow that's coming in the background uh, of our talk here yeah. had a certain cadence to it. And we needed to point the camera at it. It detected the cadence, synced the camera up with it. And then we were able to take that frequency and populate it into the other cameras that didn't have that feature. Uh, so it helped us with all of our cameras by detecting that. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, and as you mentioned, this is really designed to work well with all your other cameras. So talk about a little bit for uh, like what other cameras is this really designed to kind of family with? Well, it really works well with all of our uh, our entire ecosystem okay. of cameras. Uh, the C300 and C500 are our previous cinema cameras that had EF or PL mount. Okay. And then the C70 um, had the RF mount previously, but this is more the form factor of the C300, right. but with that RF mount now okay. in the full frame. So it works, they all work great together. Even our old XF605 in the great old camcorder form, yes, it fa is. form factor, we have that here on the line as well, also tied into our control room, along with our PTZ pan tilt zoom remote yeah. cameras. So they all play well together. They can all go into the same controller, the same situation. So we have Basically, uh, it's a camera for every need uh, that we can fulfill. That is fantastic. And yeah. a great price as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and available now. In the fall. In the fall. And this okay. camera was announced last week. Okay. It's hot off the presses. Ah. And it's available uh, <laughs> in the fall. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Well, if you want more information on the C400, how it might work in your world, and, and really the entire Canon uh, ecosystem, that's one of the things that Canon is an amazing job at is just getting all of their cameras to look so similar so you can mix and match robotic versus non-robotic, all of that. So if you'd like more information on that, talk about how it works well in your space, reach out to us, we'd love to talk.